Hi, Warren back again, and thank you very much for coming into the fourth episode of Tech Tuesday. And if you haven't logged in before, please subscribe because I've been speaking about so far three great tools that you can use online. The first one being Google Alerts, the second one being Social Mention, and then last week I spoke about Alltop. And today I'm going to share with you the reason why I've taken you through that journey of using these three tools before we got through to today. So today is going to be about Feedly and the place where you can come to just once to get all the information that's important to you. So let's get into Feedly. This is Feedly and this is what Feedly looks like. This is a place where I gather all of my content online and I bring it into an environment that's important to me so that then I can go and take that actions according to what my marketing is going to be. I give you um, an idea. What you're looking at here is I've got various different categories of information that I like to find out about and that I like to share with my audience. So if I clicked on content marketing, what you're seeing here is that this particular article was written 59 minutes ago. So I didn't have to go and find where this article was. I didn't have to remember where that website was, was or where I had to go to all top to try and remember how I got to that place. When I find something that's important to me, I then simply place it into Feedly and Feedly gives me that information the minute that it's published. This is all top. We spoke about this last week and we actually sort of decided that we were going to focus on fashion and then just get a little bit more granular around jewellery. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to find one of the blogs around jewellery. So I'm going to click on this blog and then the blog opens up. So now we have this jewellery blog. I'm going to take the URL for this jewellery blog and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back into my Feedly account and up here you have add content. So this little button that I press called add content and then you get a box that pops up. You can do two things with this box. One, put in your specific industry so you could put jewellery in and that will give you one type of search. Or where you want to be specific and that was the blog that we put in earlier. You can see here that it automatically brings up that blog for me. So if I click on this, it now brings up all of the blogs, not just the one that we found in Alltop, but every single one of the blogs that they wrote. Now what we want to do is at the top up here, you've got this little Feedly button. I'm going to click the Feedly button and now I can choose which folder I want this blog to go into. This one called um, Fashion. So as I click that and then click Add, the next time that website loads an article, all I have to do is come back to Feedly click on my fashion folder and then it brings up the latest blog that's just been written. I've got a choice of three different articles that I can then quickly go and have a look at. So I can have a quick overview of this article and if it's important to me. So maybe it's something that I just want to read or maybe I want to go and share it with my followers across the different social networks. You can then choose to go and tweet it you can put it onto Facebook or you can send it via email. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail around that because in series two of what we're going to do for Tech Tuesday, I'm going to be giving you a tool that allows you to automate all of this across four different social networks in the split second. So I hope you've seen how powerful Feedly is. As you could see, I've got lots of information. When I say lots, I mean, I've probably got about a thousand different websites that I've got plugged into Feedly, but I've got it all broken down into various different categories. So the three tips that I'd like to give you today is use all top to do your research, but then once you've done that research, then take that and put it into Feedly. Remember, put it into the add content button, take the URL and put it in, and then put it into your specific category. Because the more important the information is to you, be specific with that category. Once you've put that information into that category, the last thing that I'm gonna share with you is make sure that you take that information and then go and share it. So use the Twitter icon and the Facebook icon then to be able to can share that information with your online audience. What I'm gonna be able to do for you next week is show you how you can save every single piece of information online, even when Feedly doesn't allow it. So I'm going to be talking about bookmarks. Thank you very much and thanks for joining. And don't forget to subscribe.